Hi folks, Steve here at Ross Trailers. Uh, today we're taking a closer look at a uh, 2022 Venture RV uh, Sonic Light Model 169V RK Rear Kitchen. I'm going to start at the front. This is the front of the trailer and it's got a walk around queen size bed. This trailer is 22 foot 1 inch and that's including the tongue. They actually managed to squeeze a walk around queen size bed in a trailer this size. It's great. It's just over 3,500 pounds. 3530 is its dry weight. It's seven and a half foot wide. If you watch the exterior video, you know that the roof is actually made out of uh, fiberglass. Great way to construct a trailer. We didn't talk about the floor. Floor joists are actually uh, aluminum floor joists decked with 5.8 tongue and groove plywood. That's the best way to manufacture a floor in an RV. Unfortunately, it represents a very small portion of everything that's manufactured out there. So we're super excited to have this product line in our yard. So I'm going to start at the front and we'll finish in the kitchen because the kitchen is quite the uh, area on this trailer. Uh, RV Queen, so 60 wide like at home but 74 inch in length, the length of a double. There's a shirt closet with a real bar so you can actually uh, hang a shirt without it getting wrinkled. They actually cut the cabinet you can see at the back and they left it open so that's a great little spot for your alarm clock, your, your, your glass of water, your CPAC machine. We got that front window. All the store will come, or all the windows will come with a pleated shades. Uh, for the exception of the kitchen, it's always an aluminum blind. Uh, so you do get uh, a store there or a blind that's gonna prevent the sun from coming in. There's LED lights. There's one also in the main area. This is a spot where they actually also um, added the TV so you can watch it from uh, the bedroom. And it's on a swivel arm so you can flip it around and watch it from the dinette if you want. There is two windows here as well. There's your emergency window. It will stay open to give you some great ventilation. Uh, the bed lifts up. It's pretty big. Lots of storage. So the front portion of it is reserved for your outdoor storage. And the front is clean. You can leave some extra blankets or a couple bins of clothes or whatever you want to take camping. Uh, the dinette. Nothing special here. Um, they incorporated the back cushion into uh, the back rest itself. So the cushions are not coming off. And this is why we were getting that extra cushion on the bed. Uh, that's actually to convert your dinette into an extra sleeping arrangement. So if you're not bringing any gas with you or in grandkids or whatever, you can leave that cushion at home. It doesn't, come, it doesn't have to come along. The table can come down and that will convert into a bed. Uh, access to the storage on each side. I'm a big fan of that. It's kind of nice. Why the step? Well, it's because the wheel well is higher than the bottom of the trailer. So our floor is uh, underneath this, this dinette here, there's actually a wheel well. That's why there's a little step to get in. Our bathroom, it's a full three-piece bathroom. There is a motion detector light that turns on automatically. There is a nice shower. Folks, the beauty about the Sonic is that it's 82 inch in the metal. That's the uh, highest you're gonna get in here, but I'm five foot eight. I'm saying there's probably another foot and some change here. So even if you're six foot tall or six foot three tall, you're going to fit in the shower. There is a surround. It's a shower pan. It's not a tub, but it's a high pan. So don't have to worry about the, the curtain going out and the water seeping out. It's going to stay in. Uh, stainless steel sink in the vanity. There's enough counter to leave a couple of little bins on there. Maybe with your toothbrush. Foot flush porcelain toilet. Just like at home. Kind of nice. A little bit of storage below. A medicine cabinet, power fan, and of course we talked about the LED lights. There in the bathroom is where they put the monitor panel for your tanks as well as your water heater on electrical and propane and your water pump. So, uh, on the way to the bathroom from the kitchen you have this little device that's actually uh, to help you level the trailer. So this thing's going to sync to an app on your phone. And it's going to tell you when you're side to side level. So you can do that when the trailer is hitched up to the vehicle. As you back up, it may tell you not level and level. Perfect. You know, that's where you stop. And it's going to tell you when you're front to back level. So you use the electric tone jack to level your trailer. So a little bit of a helping device if you want to uh, make sure your trailer is level. Your thermostat for your furnace. AC is on the roof and it's a central unit. Um, I'm, I don't mind it at all. There's actually a low setting in the cooling. So uh, sometime on 15 amps of power like at home I have the same unit and I can get it going on low for quite some time before uh, It gets too hot or the power cords get too hot. 
So that's kind of nice. Um, most AC doesn't give you that um, flexibility and uh, often it'll just jump the breaker or it'll blow the breaker because it requires too much power when you're plugged into a regular extension cord. Um, a couple of other things. This thing is equipped with, uh, it's not equipped, it's prepared to be equipped with a device to help you monitor the, the tire pressure in your tires. So it's pre-wired for it. If you choose to do so, you can buy a little kit. It will be screwed into this device and a couple of little caps on your tire. And there you go. This little thing will tell you if your tires are um, running low on here. All right. So uh, rear entry and you're coming in through to the kitchen. Uh, it's a beautiful space. There's a couple of things I really, really like. First of all, counter. Let's face it. For such a little trailer, there's a, a great amount of counter space. A single bowl sink, so, mm, you know, some people don't like that, but it's extremely deep and it's really big. So there's no issues uh, washing some big pots in here. Uh, I love this little extra counter here. It's a perfect spot for the coffee machine. There's a power outlet right here on the roof of the trailer. And there's another one right here. There's also a USB 12 volt right here. Uh, I like this. Uh, they didn't put a shelf in here. I'm a big fan of it. This is probably where my garbage can would be going. Uh, halfway and then the other half probably is not to store uh, the coffee uh, maker when you're traveling. Above, same thing. A lot of storage. And uh, same thing on this side. Look at that, folks. And it goes all the way to the corner. This is more than what you need for, oh my God, dishes and food. Uh, a little bit of ingenuity here. You put a shelf. You can separate your dishes properly. There'll be plenty of room for everything. Now, a little bit more under the sink. Right here and right here. Your drawers. Full ball bearing. The whole thing extend out. It's plywood made. Uh, this is where your furnace is as well. Two burner stove. We talked about range hood being vented outside. And it comes with a uh, sketch cutting board. So, pretty nice little design. Now... Uh, if that wasn't enough, there is a full pantry here and a place to hang your coat when you come in. Folks, there are 35, 40 foot trailer that doesn't even have a place to hang your coat when you come in. So this is quite uh, nice. A little bit on the top as well. Uh, your button for your awning and your slide out and the lights on the inside as well as the one on the awning roll. A little bit of extra storage below. You get your... Uh, converter right there with the fuse, fuse box so you get your breaker and 12 volt fuses all in there right when you come in and your fridge is right here by the front door you don't need to track the dirt halfway through your trailer to get to your fridge this is an RV fridge it does run on propane I'm a big fan of dry camping this is perfect it uses propane to cool and uh, doesn't use uh, battery power uh, and your microwave is right here above as well so folks again beautiful little trailer I think uh, uh, it's, uh, we're quite happy to have a couple of those in stock right now. They're not going to stay very long. Folks, if you have any questions, give us a call. Better yet, uh, take an appointment. Come and see it. We'll be happy to give you a tour. Folks, I think we've done it. Thanks for watching.